Earlier this month, President Moon reappointed Bank of Korea Governor Lee Joo-yeol for a second term, and today the National Assembly held a confirmation hearing on his reappointment. Our Kim Hye-sung has some of the main talking points. Parliament held a confirmation hearing on Wednesday for the reappointment of Bank of Korea Governor Lee Joo-yeol. The key issue has been the pace of the central bank's rate hikes, with the U.S. Federal Reserve expected to raise rates three or four times this year. In his hearing, Lee said he will maintain an accommodative monetary policy to support the country's economic recovery, given that demand-side inflationary pressure is expected to be fairly low. He emphasized the need for caution, saying that there's extra uncertainty in the global economy because of the rise of trade protectionism and major advanced countries normalizing their monetary policies and that domestic economic conditions and the financial markets should be monitored closely. In his first term, which started four years ago, Lee lowered the benchmark rate five times to a record low of one and a quarter percent and then raised it to one and a half percent last November. He has since signaled that any further rate hikes will be gradual in view of the subdued inflationary pressures. Domestically, Lee pointed to the growing income gap, the aging population, as well as household debt of around 1.35 trillion U.S. dollars as factors undermining Korea's economic growth potential. As for the Bank of Korea's independence from the government, the governor said he feels enormous responsibility and that he believes President Moon's decision to reappoint him was made to strengthen that independence and keep monetary policy consistent. If Lee is confirmed for a second four-year term to begin next month, he will be the first BOK governor to serve two terms since the 1970s. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.